Hello, Virgo. Welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman humming bird. Welcome in to your why did I choose the karmic message, Virgo. Welcome in. It's a pleasure to have you here. So, Virgo, today we're going to take a look at like I said, why I chose the karmic. So we're going to see why your person chose the karmic. Keep in mind, karmic is energy. It could be a mindset. Um, it could be for infidelity, infidelity reasons. Um, um, you know, energy, it can be karmic as well. It could be the energy that they're in right now where, you know, some people have certain mindsets, egos, trips, and all kind of different things. Um, you could be in separation from your person right now. And these are some of the karmic energies that are keeping you and your person in separation. Or you and your person were in separation. And these were the karmic energies that had kept you guys into separation at that time. Um, so this is something that you guys might want to take a look at as well. Also, you and your person can be on and off at times. And you might realize a pattern. This could be because of some kind of karmic energy. So, Virgo, take what is for you guys. You know, um, I will be reading all the signs and the energies that I see. It could just be your person's sign or there could be the energy that that person's in. So, I'm going to take what is for you. You know your story and you know where you are in this. Virgo, we got some new decks, all right? I'm going to be using my large ones today. This is a new deck. I really like this deck. It's my large deck. So we'll be using that, all right? This is going to be for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the North Node. And guess what, Virgo? We're also going to be pulling from Mercury. Now, you are ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication. This is your ruling planet, so we're going to pull some messages from your ruling planet to see what we have, all right? So let's get started. This is going to be for Virgo. Someone here wears dreads. This could be you or your person. I'm picking up dreads. All right. Um, some of you guys could definitely be spiritualists. I just heard th third eye. So some of you guys could be going through an awakening. All right. This could be a spiritual ascension, a personal one. All right. So, yeah. All right. For Virgo, Summer Rising, Venus, North Nerd, and also Mercury. Why did their person choose the karmic spirit? Give me some messages. Why did their person choose the karmic for the collective for Virgo? Why did their person choose the karmic for the collective for Virgo? Virgo. For Virgo. Let's see. Mm-hmm. And this one. Oh, chow. Okay, bottom of the deck, you're right now. <laughs> All right. Your person, someone here has a very strong sexual addiction. I'm going to just tell you now. Someone here has a very strong sexual addiction. Someone here likes to sleep around. They like to sleep with a lot of women. This is the kind of person that could be into open relationships. Also, this person could have maybe at one point in time tried to get you to be in an open relationship. Um, we have Aquarius, Sagittarius, Capricorn here as well. Some who resonate Venus, mm -hmm, for sure. Um, yeah, this... This person has a lot of um, uh, sexual appetite. This person talks to a lot of people. This person could um, have a type as well. This person believes in having a team. This is a mindset. This is why. And this has nothing to do with you personally. That's why I always tell you how karmic energy works. Infidelity is here. Yes, there's the other person. But it's the mindset of this person. This person... They're freaky. They like to freak. They like to sleep around this person right now. They're not thinking about commitment. That could be another issue for a lot of you guys. This person is not thinking about commitment. Um, this person is, is thinking about sex. Um, also, um, for some of you guys, I could be talking to the same-sex relationship. Um, some of you guys also could be... Um, Talking to someone that um, deals with an S that has an STD, which is self-explanatory because this person sleeps around a lot. There could be a lot of one-night stands. I'm hearing younger women. This is a type of person that can meet a lot of people off dating sites, offline, maybe Facebook. This person has a lot of Facebook hookups. 
Yeah, this is someone that is different too. You might like them because they're different. They're not afraid to be their self. This is um, a component that makes this person very attractive or this is you. Someone here can like, like real aggressive sex. They like to even talk when they have sex. Yeah. Been that ass over shit like that. Did I scare you? <laughs> oh my God. Also, what's funny here is that Sagittarius, I mean, Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. This is someone, yeah, this person is very old. Someone here has a gift of gab. This person has a way with women. They know that. That's why this person is not ready to commit. They have a way with women. They know that. They know how to talk. Honey, this is the kind of man where, you know, uh, the next one minute you guys are talking, hitting off the connection is super dope. All right? Like, oh, my God, we connect so well. The next minute, you your pants is down in the hotel room. That fast. That was their plan the whole time. They know how to they know how to get you. I heard they know how to do it. They have the thing and they know how to sweet talk you. Um, this is definitely a man. There's a man here for sure. Um, the sun is a masculine planet. The sun is also father. Yeah. And this person could be the air sign as well. Um could be an Aquarius or have an Aquarius placement. If you don't know all four of your sign placements, guys, there is one down there. This person um, pays a, a, a attention to you. They um, talk to you to, to see what you like. Like, you might not even be knowing that you're telling them shit. They just know how to talk to you. They know how to get people to talk. So they know what to do to to, 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 to get on your, your good side, to make you smile, to get in your pants. This person is good at what they do, and they know it. That's why. This is a, a mindset. This is a person that has a very big ego. They know they. this person also could be very handsome. This person also could be a, 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 a um, passive-aggressive. They, there's a soft side to them. Also, they could like touch when they talk. You all right, honey? You like that? You 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 want another drink? Is there anything else I can get you? Something like that is also here. This person is also someone who's into looking good, staying good, staying ripe, eating good, eating healthy. This person is very big on communication because that's how they study people. They like they they might ask you three or four questions and you find yourself doing most of the talking. They study you. They study the way you talk, the way you wear your hair. They study everything. They're good at what they do. This person has a gift and they use it really good. Shit, they use it for sex. This person also could be really good in bed. Child. <laughs> Ooh, well, give me more of this Capricorn. What is this? Yeah. I told you there was a, um, a STD here. Someone here um, could be getting over an STD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone here could be getting over an STD. Why is that? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Someone here takes also um, risk, sexual risk. This is why. They don't... Um, they want to feel it. This is a freak. This person is freaky. They want to feel it. They don't like condoms. No, I told you. This, per this person, um, yeah, they take a lot. Yeah, honey, they take a lot. This person takes a lot of risk. A lot of risk, sexual-wise. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. This, this 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 person likes a lot of sex. This person just likes a lot of sex. This could be a person that is more prone to open relationships, threesomes and shit like that. They're they're just they're non-committal. Why? Give me more. Yeah. Everything is in reverse. Yeah. Yeah, th this person is not loyal. The, if this person even in a relationships, it's like I mean, shit, they might give y'all numbers. I mean, this is how crazy this person is. That's my number one. That's my number two. Like, they're they're not they're non committal. Why is this snake in reverse? Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. 
This person could be dealing with like a childhood. Yeah, they're dealing with a childhood issue. This person could have been, yeah, they could have been one of those people where maybe they weren't chosen a lot as a child. Maybe they were counted out. All right, or they were always like this out person and they like grew into a stud. These are one of them stories where people could have teased them, clowned them when they were younger and they grew up and they're attractive and now they're just like out with it. Yeah, 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 this emperor. Yeah, this person could be up on their luck. They could have did well for themselves in life. Yeah. And, and, and they just, and they want to, they, they're, they're non-committal. They don't want to commit. It's not because they can't, or they might not, the fact that they don't know who you are, they don't want to commit. Yeah, no, they don't. They don't want to commit. You guys are not on the same page. You're not. You guys have some kind of history together, but you're not on the same page. They'll have sex with you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. You down for that. They down for that. <laughs> But other than that, um, they're, they're, they're not committed here. Yeah. What's this sun card? Yeah. Yeah. This person, um, they're, they're, they're not, they, they're, they don't even want, this is the kind of person right now, they're not even looking for a family. They don't want kids. They want fun. They want to have fun. They want to have, this person's looking for a good time. What is Virgo? Which is Virgo need to know specifically. Yeah. And they stand on that. They're very straightforward about that. No, uh, they don't want to get serious. They just want, they want to have a, yeah, they want to have a good time. How honoring gifts. You know, let's, let's go over. They might get you a little something. You get them little gifts, little, you know, little nice things. All right, maybe you guys are going to each other's house with living room. But this person, yeah, there, there's no commitment here. They don't want no commitment. Okay, Mercury. There's Mercury. Yeah, this person could be in court uh, um, already. I know um, behind a child. Okay, because another thing I'm picking up here with the sun energy and this child energy and water under the bridge in reverse, they could be in a situation where they're in court or they're paying child support about a, a child here. Yeah, yeah, that they didn't want. Okay, so they're already dealing with the situation. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. A small child, success and love, a meeting and change. Yeah, you see that small child, success and love. So th this person could have a, a child. They could be in like some, I'm, I'll keep hearing child support court. Give me more about this court. Yeah, I told, I can't make this shit up. Small child on the bottom of the deck, look what popped up. So someone just, they're in child support court. Yeah, and it's costing them a lot of money and they already don't like that. So, you know, they don't want a family. They're not committed, okay, right now. This is also someone that could have tried the family thing and it didn't work out so well. And right now, they're just, they just, they're living their life. All right. This is, this is why. This, this person is choosing to, like, they're having fun right now. Yeah. Yeah. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits. Yeah. This this person is dating you and other people. It's not just you they're dating. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits. This is going to be for Virgo. What did you have for Virgo? For Virgo. For Virgo. For Virgo. For Virgo. For Virgo. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. This person wants to start this. It, you know, this person could like, um, you know, want to start off small. All right, maybe it'll grow into something over time, but nothing real big, nothing real serious. Okay. Um, yeah, strength card. Yeah, they're, they're real specific on being clear on that. This person is very, very keen to detail. Okay, that that's just what this is. Yeah, I feel like this person has gotten out of a bad situation. 
all right, before, and they're like, they're just over right now. This is not what they want. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to put, they want balance back in. That This person, is. they want to know what it's like to date again. When they choose again, they want to choose right. Yeah, Ace of Swords, the truth. I believe this person's next relationship, it could be with you. It's going to be very honest, straightforward, and authentic because of whatever they just got out of. Okay, this that's what this going on with this person. That's what this is. Um, what is the five of one? There's a lot of chaos and confusion um, and talk um, that's coming out about this person. You may have heard rumors about this person because this person gets around. You might have heard, you know, people say, oh, don't get with this person. Um, they do this or, you know, they sleep around. But it's because of what they've been through. All right, let's, let's um, clarify this five of ones. But this person is very, I'm going to tell you something. You Be careful on what you ask with this person because they might, they're going to tell you, they'll tell you the truth. Even if it hurts, I kind of like this. Yeah, see, there's a lot of chaos and confusion, yeah, because this person had, they had an empress before. Like I said, they were in a relationship before. And for some of you guys, it's, it's, this was a, um, it could have been a marriage, all right, or some kind of healthy connection, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, and it didn't work out, it just, it didn't work out, all right, yeah. Five of Swords, yeah. A lot of arguing, a lot of fighting, fighting um, here. There could have been, a, there's a lot of um, fighting and arguing in court, all right, as well, yeah. With this Queen of Wands, okay, this is the person that I believe that they were in a relationship with or had this baby with, and it just didn't work out. Yeah, the universe, all right, the world court, it ended. And right now, they're, they might want to take, this is also for some of you guys, this person just wants to take things slow. This person is trying to regain their strength back as well. Too. This person is very mil militant and straightforward. I kind of like this person, but I will also keep my third eye on this person. Why is that in reverse? Yeah, like I said, this person is not just talking to you. This person is talking to other people and they're, ha and they're having sex with other people as well. That is something that you might need to know. Yeah, three of cups. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, honey, this person is talking to more than, more than, uh, uh, there could be like two or three of you guys. What is this? Also, someone here could have paid for some kind of abortion from another lover. This person, yeah. Yeah, they, first of all, they're not using condoms. That's here. An STD also could be specific, obviously, because they're sleeping around. But someone here also could have paid for an abortion from another lover announced to you that you don't know about. Yeah. But they're, they're, they're out of a relationship, a situation that didn't work out with the baby. And they don't want to go back to that neither. Well, that's just the yeah, the lover's in reverse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eight of Wands, yeah. 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 Yeah, mm-hmm. So also, that is something else that this person is not telling you. What's the Ace of Swords? Yeah. This person is not, yeah, that, they're not using condoms. So they didn't, they, someone here had already paid for an abortion from someone. And it's not the ex that they're in court with. And, it, and it's not you. Okay? The Knight of Wands, I'm telling you. This person has a lot of sexual fantasies. This, this person could um could also pay for sex or they offer to do things for you or, you know, for your, you know, home vehicle. I don't know, hair, take it, your hair done, nails done, take it how it resonates, but they want sex. Yeah. Yeah. If, if, you, if they do these things for you, um, Six of Pentacles, um, they want sex back. Knight of Wands. And they could, for some of you guys, be straightforward. Oh, uh, you know, I'll take care of you. Oh, or I'll get it. You know, uh, you, you gonna give me some, some pussy? You gonna give me some pussy today? Like, this person is that kind of person. Th this person is kind of arrogant. They could talk like that as well. But yeah, this person is the type, if you're not having sex with them, they're not gonna do anything for you. Is also what I'm getting from this kind of person. Yeah. That's what they, this, they, this person likes to fuck like rabbits. Give me more resilience. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, as long as long as long as you are uh get, yeah, as long as you're giving up some ass, you're not gonna have a problem with this person. And you don't want strings attached, you're not gonna have a problem with this person. What's the difference? Oh, that flew all the way over there. Judgment, yeah. This is definitely court. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This person is still in their feelings about what happened with the relationship in the past. They're still not healed from that. What is this? Yeah, the moon card. Yeah, that's the truth. This person, yeah. <sighs> yeah, they're still not healed from what happened in our past relationship. Yeah, they yeah, there was a lot of trickiness going on. Um, a lot of a lot of talk, a lot of conversation, a lot of people in their business. Okay, this person has cried a lot in this past relationship. This person's been hurt before as well. Yeah. Yeah, give me this page of pentacles. Ooh, yeah, the king of ones and the five of ones. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about this person. You might have heard a lot of rumors about this person. Yeah. Or who this person even, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no secret that this person's like this. If you was to hear about this person, people would tell you about them. Like, yeah, you know, uh, -uh they're this, they're that, that. If I was you, I wouldn't talk to him. This, that, the next thing. What is the strength card? Yeah. Yeah. The truth is that this person's been hurt. Yeah, and they have never moved on from that. Okay, and some of them, you know, they never dealt with that. So, yeah, they, yeah, Ace of Wands. So, they might have moved on from it, but it, it's still there. They never moved on uh, on from that, from being hurt before. And for some of you guys, this is someone from your past that wants to come back in. And, yes, this person definitely wants to have sex with you. Yeah, they've been missing you, all right, um, as well. Someone here has been crying as well. I believe this person also just is wounded. They need healing. A lot of it. They're hurt. Hurt people hurt people. You might want to be like precautious around this person. What is this? What is that here? Yeah. Yeah, this person is paying out a lot of money too. Yeah. This could be child support money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with this baby's mom. There's a lawyer. This person could be in court over this baby's mom. Give me more now. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This person could be kind of broke financially, too. Or going through some kind of financial issues here. Yeah, honey. Yeah, they took a big loss in this relationship, too. Why is that in reverse? Yeah, uh-huh. They did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They could have lost a court case, okay, with this karmic, yeah, they did. They lost a court case here, and they might have to do a large payout as well. So right now, they're not, they don't feel financially stable to, like, have a relationship or even another child. That's my, uh, the reason why they pay for an abortion with someone else. What is this? Yeah, and they're juggling. Yep, they're juggling. Yeah. Okay, so they don't know. They're also juggling if they if they want to take it serious with you or not. Now they do have feelings for you, but that's why they juggle. That's why they're juggling because they've been hurt. They're still healing and they're still paying out this money. Why is this in um, sideways? Yeah, mm hmm. And there's still a lot of chaos and confusion going on behind the closed doors. Yeah, because of things that they did. Yeah, and also. They're going to have to cut off all their other partners. <laughs> yeah. And they could be analyzing that. Like, all right, is are they ready to take that route again? Now, they are considering that with you, but yeah. This is why your person is choosing this karmic energy. Now, some of you guys got some fake-ass friends. So, you need to be careful. All right? Or like I said, this could be their friends. Or you can... Um, like I said, um, hear something about this person. 
Like this is this is a gossip around town about this person. Like they get around, they fuck around with people. They're non-committal. Uh, he don't do you know. My friend used to talk to him. You know, you gotta do this. You gotta make sure. Don't let them um sleep around for free. They'll they'll try to do this. And for some, you know, the, this is the thing with people. They're not the same person with everybody. Just because he'll do this for her, don't mean he'll do that for you. So you can't really compare people like that. Yeah. Excuse me, guys. You guys know when I channel energy, I burp. I'm sorry. Excuse me. But there's someone here could have a mental health problem. Like, this could have mentally fucked them up over here, this relationship. And like I said, they they in hell and they never got over this. And right now, they just been living life. They do see you as an option. They do consider you as an option um, here. But I just don't see them at this time. They're just considering it. They're not necessarily taking action to make you guys excuse. Okay, Virgo. All right, Virgo for Virgo. Let's see, Virgo. Ooh, message for Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Bottom of the deck is not his child. I lied. What I tell you, they have groupies, a harem, a group of females. This person sleeps around. And this child might not be theirs. Oh, so for some of you guys, this person could have, I said, paid for an abortion. This could also be like a DNA test that someone paid for here. I'm also getting that. And they found out that this baby wasn't theirs. And this is outside of this relationship that they're in court about with the baby that's actually theirs. Yeah, so they also had a bad situation and they had a bad experience outside of them having this relationship. In the past, and this is what just got them. Maybe they got into this energy where they're like, man, I'm just going to do me. I'm not even going to take nobody serious. And it, it, I, I don't want to say it like this, but this could have made them a little bitter. Um, and they, someone here, they have help. I told you um, someone here could be dealing with an STD as well. But um, also mental health could be an issue. This person, they might look at things, think things differently because of what they've been through with this karmic. Um, someone here is a reader. They have been getting readings on you. All right. This is a reader. You could be a reader. Didn't I say that earlier? A spiritualist. I said that earlier. Some of you guys want to rewrite the video. Yeah. And look, it came out twice. Yeah. See, and this is another thing that your person been through and what could make them stay in this karmic energy where it, it might just be hard to date this person. I'm not going to lie. This might be a challenge for you. You might end up walking away from this person. And then that's when this person might need to wake up to take you seriously because it's too hard to get in. They have a shell over them. They build a wall over them. This person is playing on your phone. Uber been hopping out all day. So there's Ubers, Uber, food and drinks. So they could want to take you out. Maybe you guys went out for um, some something to eat or on a date. All right, Uber. Maybe this person um, does Uber hookups. Because this person has a lot of hookups. Yeah. Um, this person does have a secret house. They might have a place that you don't necessarily know where they, you know, kind of do them at. And we have beginnings in reverse. Yeah. This is why this person haven't had a new beginning with you. Okay. And look, it's not his child. See, this is what this person has been through. All right, and they, they could have, this is also a man that couldn't have trust issues with women. Yeah, because they're used to Jezebel spirits. And this came in reverse, and that's what this, this person, they're just like, they have a shell up. It's almost as like they judge all women the same because of this. Like, you're going to have to really, like, prove yourself. This is going to be a test, honey, now. This is going to be a challenge, sis. Because you're going to have to prove yourself to this person. Yeah, they've been through a lot. Yeah, heart chakra in reverse. This came out in reverse. This person has to work on their heart chakra. Exactly. They've been through a lot. This person has been hurt. Someone here could be very athletic or work out, all right? Or this person could be even an athlete. Um, 
this is a tarot reading, but this person could have gotten a reading on you. All right. Or you could have heard this already clear fat through another reader about this person not necessarily wanting a new beginning. They want to stay in your player ways. Also with them dealing with an issue with the karmic of a baby. That's not theirs. But this is why this person stays in this karmic energy. Okay, spirit. Yeah, see, respect in reverse. Yeah, you have to really... You, I think you should respect for yourself, but this is what this person is going to have to see to take anyone serious. Yeah, and I told you, I'm high in more than one family. Yeah, this person has a secret house, could even have a secret family, okay, because this came out as well. Just This person is just, they're just doing them right now. Magic reverse, yeah, yeah. They're, they're just doing them right now. Whatever mental spell or whatever, you know, energy this person was under before. These is, this person has a lot of mental games played on them. Masculine or female. Definitely a masculine here. Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Okay. All right. Yeah, look what just came back out. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I'm spying on you, the karmic. So this karmic can still be spied on this masculine, giving them hell. Five, five is here. Yeah, because they want to stop this person. Also, this person could be um, spying on you. I feel as though you might have walked away and had that self-respect that they weren't expecting. Um, they might have found that in you, and now they're spying on you. Yeah. Um, even if they copy the sauce, they wouldn't be the same. This person could have felt like, well, you know, they'll, tr they, they could have tried to find someone else like you. And didn't I say someone here is on dating site? You could have met this person on dating sites, but someone is hooking up with people on dating sites. Yeah. Purposely is here. Child support. Didn't I tell you someone is in child support court? Okay. Ooh, someone here has blonde hair. Someone here drives an SUV. Didn't I tell you this person has a mental balance? This person needs healing. Yeah. You need to be careful with this person. Because this person is easily triggered because of what they've been through. Someone here could be driving past, tracking your car. I told you this person needs counseling. Okay. You can have a son. This person could have a son. This person needs counseling. I'm serious. Therapy, to be specific. You might offer to go to counseling with this person. This person now knows that you are, they know who you are. I feel like they know you, I keep hearing a real one. So this person knows that you are a real one. Okay. Can I get an animal spirit message for Virgo? Animal spirit message for Virgo. All my beautiful universe and the Holy Spirit. Can I get an animal spirit message for Virgo, Virgo? What do you have for Virgo, Virgo? Ooh, for Virgo? Ooh, in this one. Okay, so we have, um, yeah, release. That's what I'm saying. This person's going to have to release. We have the jug, um, juggler sp spirit. I hope I pronounced that right. But release is on this card. This person is going to have to release. Now, nine is here, which is almost a completion on um, a lot of things they think. I, uh, you know, and the way they do things, you really might want to consider counseling. All right, going to counseling with this person because they, they need to heal some things so it doesn't spill over in this relationship. Here, and we have observation, okay, in reverse. So this, this person, you know, they're still high in things they don't want you to see. I think it's this person's wounds that they need to let go, okay? Now, this person does want to offer you some kind of loyalty. Dog companionship represents loyalty. And their eyes is on you. Wisdom here. They know. They know who you are. But this person, it's like taking that fresh step again for this person. I'm here. One more card. So, we'll get one more card. What other card? Do you, ooh, here it is. Yep. And it came back out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, loyalty came back out. So this person does want to give you some loyalty. All right. There's some secrets that they might have to explore to you. And wisdom is back here. Yeah. So these two cards. Yeah. 
Yeah, this there's just, just a lot of secrets that this person is gonna have to be honest with you about when it comes to their ways or things that they've been through, so you guys can heal this. This is why counseling's here because you guys might need to, so you guys can be happy and really be authentic and you know. You know, build a happy life together. Um, there's a lot of angelic energy around you guys. So the angels are supporting you guys at this time. But this is the secret. This is what this person is hiding from you. Um, what they've been through in their pants. This person's just hurt. Okay. Now this is going to be a challenge. I'm going to tell you this is going to be a challenge. Because that means for you to have this new beginning. And they want this new beginning with you. You know, therapy, I just think you should really cons consider counseling or therapy or shit, even both. All right, for Virgo Spirit, what do you have for Virgo? For the collective. Ooh. Yeah, because you're going to have to take a leap, of, a leap of faith. This person needs to take a leap of faith also with you um, in this connection, especially if you guys believe. Okay, because you're going to need a lot of courage. All right, to get through some of these challenges um, because of this person, what they've been through, and they're holding going through that, and it's affecting their relationship. Hurt people, hurt people. I'm seeing a lot of green, and they're pointing me back to their um, heart chakra. This person definitely needs to work on their heart chakra. We also have sensuality. Express your sensuality. This person does miss. Miss, misses you. Um, I, like I said, this person definitely wants to have sex with you. Um, you might want to hold off a little bit. Okay, um, here. Yeah, you might want to wait a little bit. Yeah, with vacation and legends on the bottom and gratitude in reverse. Um, yeah, we have resilience. I just saw resilience. Um, here a little bit. I have vacation and legends on the bottom. So you might be getting... Um, Little nudges I kept saying earlier from your spirit guides to wait, to hold off, to sleep with, with this person as well. Because this person has a lot of healing to do. All right. Just to build you guys' friendship, you know, um, to reestablish you, you guys' bond together. Because you're going to have to do this so this can be healthy. Okay. Um, here. Because this, this person's hurt. And... You don't want this to bleed off in your relationship. They've been through a lot. They have. There's a lot of secrets here, and you guys might just need to communicate and talk about it. All right, Virgo. So that's what I have for you guys. That was your message. I hope this helped you out in more ways than one, Virgo. Um, guys, don't forget to check all four sad placements. All right, there's a link in the description box below so you can get all the messages, all right? That'll give you a bigger message of today and other messages, so that's a big deal. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell. Guys, make sure you're getting all. I want to make sure you get all the content that is released so you can get all your messages as well. All right, Virgo. Also, last but not least, that's another way to make an energetic donation to the channel so I can pull more beautiful messages for you, Virgo, and you can get the messages that you guys need to know. Virgo, next time, I love you all. Stay dope. Ashe.